Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome back to my course Aspects of Biochemical Engineering. Now in this lecture we want to discuss uh, the kinetics of the uh, homogeneous chemical reaction and, uh, and as you know that, uh, that uh, I told you previously that uh, uh, chemical uh, uh, engineering is kind of basis of the uh, biochemical engineering. So, uh, so we, we try to understand the chemical reaction, how uh, this chemical reaction we can uh, express, uh, mathematically express, how different uh, kinetic constant can be uh, estimated. And then uh, we'll, uh, initially we discuss the irre irreversible reactions uh, and then uh, we'll discuss the um, uh, reversible reaction and after that we'll also discuss the chain reaction. Uh, because uh, because if you look at the biological process, we have seen that uh, mostly uh, the the biological reaction they are reversible in nature, and they are chain chain reaction. Because if you look at the metabolic pathways, several steps of reaction take place: A to B, B to C, C to D, like this. So uh, so but those uh, those uh, should be understood properly before we go to the biological process. Now, if you look at uh, this. Uh, overall the chemical process how it looks. Now chemical process we have we have uh, these raw materials initially we have raw materials then these raw materials undergo some kind of physical treatment before it goes to the chemical process and after chemical process we do some kind of purification what we call physical treatment steps then we get the product and some of the things which is sometimes we recycle back to the system. Now, the chemical reaction can be classified in two different ways. One is called homogeneous reaction and another we call heterogeneous reaction. Homogeneous reaction means when the reaction takes place in one particular phases. So we have three different phases. We have ga gas, gaseous phase, liquid phase and solid phase. The, if the reaction takes place in one particular phase, we call it homogeneous reaction. Now mostly <coughs> in case of homo homogeneous reaction, reaction takes place either gas and liquid phase. Now in case of heterogeneous system, the reaction takes place more than one phase. That means either gas, liquid, liquid, solid like this, you know, they, at least more than one phase present in, the, in, the, in this reaction. Now basic difference between the homogeneous and heterogeneous reaction is that in case of homogeneous reaction, the reactant they are freely interacting with each other give, to give the product. Now in case of heterogeneous system, one phase supposed to come in contact with the other phase and then and only then reaction takes place and after the reaction is over, the product has to diffuse from that phase to the other phase. So that diffusion problem is a, is a, <coughs> is a additional problem that we have in case of heterogeneous system. Now, so homogeneous I have reaction, we have the examples uh, of uh, this uh, sulfur dioxide when it, uh, in presence of oxygen, it produces sulfur trioxide. This is, this is occurred particularly in the sulfuric acid production process. You might be knowing this sulfur trioxide in presence of water, it produces sulfuric acid. Now, when sulfur dioxide is, uh, is uh, oxidized further to sulfur trioxide, this all are gaseous phase. This is gas, this is gas. So reaction occurred in the one particular phase. Since uh, reaction occurs in one particular phase, we call it homogeneous reaction. I have, we have another example is LPG. LPG is the liquefied petroleum gas and when you part uh, and it mostly contains the butane and when butane we burn it, then it produces again carbon dioxide and water and carbon dioxide water also gas. 
In a heterogeneous reaction, we have the examples of burning of coal. And the coal is the solid material in presence of oxygen. Oxygen is the gaseous material. The ultimate product is carbon dioxide. So, <clears throat> the simultaneous here simultaneously mass transfer and the reaction occurred as I pointed out before one phase has to come in contact with the other phase and then the reaction takes place. So, two things simultaneously take place here and if the rate of diffusion is more than rate of reaction then we call it a reaction controlling. So, if we want to improve upon the, upon the process then we shall have to improve this uh, rate of reaction. Now, if the ra rate of diffusion is less as compared to rate of reaction then diffusion is the controlling. So, we shall have to improve the uh, diffusion rate. Now, if you if you if you look at if you look at the rate equations, it's like this: the A A plus B B equal to R R into S S. Let us this is product and this is your uh, reactant. Now, rate of disappearance of A minus R A it is usually expressed as minus. The reason is that it is disappearing. Now, if you if you plot the concentration of product, concentration of raw material, the substrate uh, with respect to time, always it will like this. And why it is decreasing uh, with respect to time? That means, rate of degradation of uh, C A that always should be negative, because it is the negative profile that we have. So, this is why that is why we, we have written minus R A this minus R A equal to uh, <coughs> d n d n by V n is the what moles of A. So, concentration what is concentration? Concentration is nothing but mass per unit volume or moles per unit volume moles per unit volume. So, this is here n A is the moles of A and V is the volume. So, V is the constant. So, it is it is comes out and this is d, uh, d this is expressed as uh, d, d a n a by d t into v. So, uh, again if you, if you when you when you do put it like this then we can express in terms of concentration we can express minus d c a by d t this is moles per liter per second. Now, now in the in the previous reaction that uh, we have seen that is a a plus b b equal to r r plus s s. Now here, how you how you express the rate of the reactions that uh, that minus r a into a divided by a minus r equal to minus r b by b. and the minus r by small r minus s uh, r s by s. The rate of reaction is influenced by the composition and the energy uh, composition and the energy of the material. Energy means temperature, light intensity and the, mag <coughs> the magnetic field intensity. This is uh, so rate uh, even in this any kind of reaction we can rate we can express like this. Now, here <coughs> that you know suppose that we have we have taken a very simple reaction A to product A, 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 A to A, A is the reactant and give the what is the how we can express the rate equation minus R equal to K, K is called the rate constant this is called rate constant and this is called order of reaction. order of reaction. So, these are the two constant that we have. So, k into uh, now k again k depends on temperature and uh, k depends on temperature that can be expressed by the Arrhenius equation. This is minus E a by R t. So, if we put it here, so you know, the whole equation looks like this. So, this is the Arrhenius uh, equation we put it here, this equation looks like this.
Now, this is the Arrhenius equation I told you, this is Arrhenius equation. Now, uh, the rate of reaction again uh, uh, by directly proportional with k. So, since the rate of reaction is proportional to the, the, the this is inversely uh, proportional with uh, t 1 by t uh, the same constant uh, time that is inversely proportional with this. So, uh, Now, if uh, if the if you take uh, this uh, Arrhenius equation into into consideration, then we will find at uh, two rates uh, this uh, ln uh, minus because since it is proportional to k because uh, as, as I as I told you that minus R A equal to equal to k into C A to the power n. Am I right? So so it is proportional to this. So so, uh, in the Arrhenius equation, we have also written this equation k equal to a to the power e to the power e a by r t. So, so I can I can write that uh, r r r a 2 by r a 1 equal to ln k k 2 by k 1 because this is at the particular different temperature it will differ and and, and uh, this is equal to t 1 by t 2 this since it is inversely proportional with time. And this is if you, if you take this into account, then we will we'll get this particular relation E a by r equal to 1 by, by T a minus 1 by T 2. Now, uh, temperature dependence on the reaction is determined by the activation energy energy and temperature level of the reaction. So, this uh, this is very much clear uh, from this uh, from the next slide that I, I can show you here we have plot this is the this is the log plot you can see that this is 10 then this is 100 like this and a double we can we can do that this is not normal plot this so and this is the normal centimeter plot that we can we can have. So, uh, this is the this is the equation that we have that uh, ln ln k2 by k1 equal to ea by r 1 by t1 minus t2 that uh, that we can do it very easily because if you know k equal to a e to the power minus uh, i can i can show you in other way that uh, if you considered the k k1 equal to a e to the power minus e a by r t1 let us assume this is the t1 temperature and k2 equal to a e to the power minus e a by r t this is t2 am i right now if you divide if you the k1 by k2 by k1 then what I can write e to the power minus e a by r t 2 this is the e a sorry this is the a r t 2 by e to the power minus e a by r t 1. So, we can write now, now uh, this is equal to uh, what you can write this is equal to e to the power minus e a by r t 1 t 2 plus e a r t 1 am I right? Then you can take it upward. Then ln if you take ln k 2 by k 1 equal to then I can write this is equal to you can e a by r you can take common though this will be 1 by t 1 minus 1 by t 2 like this we can easily write this equation is not very difficult this will be how this equation has come. Now, here we want to focus one particular point that we are interested to show you this portion. Now, if you, if you look at uh, this uh, lower tape this is the this is 1 by t am I right if I 1 by t this is uh, this is the uh, uh, 1 by t is higher that means the lower temperature at lower temperature that if you, if you look at here that is the del t is the 87 degree centigrade for doubling the rate of reaction is this. 
Now, here if we if we in the higher temperature the k value changes more as compared to this value. Here at low temperature your rate of the k value does not change much you know that if you see that uh, for 87 degree centigrade uh, you have this much of change, but in higher temperature this uh, you require more temperature to change the k value as compared to this. This is uh, this has been found the, that uh, mm, this from this particular Arrhenius uh, plot that we can we can easily uh, find out this. Now, uh, temperature sensitivity of reaction that is de de determined with the help of Arrhenius law by semi log plot. I have already shown you. This is uh, if you plot ln uh, ln k versus uh, one by t that uh, gives you the, 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 the simple type of uh, this slope will give you the value of slope will give you the value of E by R and E R is the gas content constant. So, if you put this value you can fi easily find out the value of E. The reaction with the high activation energy um, are very uh, heat uh, temperature sensitive and reaction with low activation energy relatively uh, temperature insensitive. So, uh, if the the, 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 uh, the activation energy plays very important role as per chemical reactions is concerned. Any, any given reaction is much more temperature sensitive at low temperature than the high temperature that uh, we have seen previously that at low temperature their change of k value is more as compared to high temperature. And uh, from Harrenius law, the value of frequency factor does not affect with the uh, temperature because the, that remains constant with respect to temperature. Now, question comes how you can determine the value of uh, rate constant and the order of reaction. So, this is the this is the equation that we have. The rate of reaction uh, can be the just A to B if, we, if there is a rate of reaction and k is the rate constant, it can be expressed like this, am I right? Now, if you take a log, a natural log ln uh, minus d c a by d t, this comes at the ln k by this. Now, in case if you plot, this is log log graph paper, this is ln uh, minus d c a by d t and this is uh, ln k, ln c a sorry ln c a if you plot then you will get a, a slope and this slope will give you the value of n am I right and this intercept will give you the value of ln k. So, you can find out your k value as well as your n value both k value and n value you can find out any kind of chemical reaction. This is what we explained in this. So, here also you see that similarly we can find it out from the slope we can find out the n order of reaction and intercept we can find out the value of k and uh, so uh, central differential method that uh, this is uh, this is another very inter the, the differential technique suppose we want to find out the uh, the uh, substrate concentration rate, rate of substrate degradation i can i can give the example i can i can give the example suppose in a reaction suppose ca is decreases with respect to time you have profile like this now if you want to find out minus dca by dt how you can calculate you can calculate the ca n plus 1 minus ca n minus 1 divided by 2 del t. So, you have you suppose you have t 1 t the, the t value and c a value. So, you have different value here. So, you can find out uh, this is the number of sampling point n this is 1 2 3 4 like this. So, you can uh, c a n plus 1 suppose you want to find out this so that means you have to take the value here and minus 1 means 0 hour you have some value you have to take the value of 0 hour and del t is the time difference this is the 1 2 that may be in hour may be in minutes the difference you have to give you can easily find out the rate of change of substrate concentration rate of change of product formation 
all you can estimate with the help of differential technique. This is called the differential technique. Now, simplest reaction is the first order reaction when n value is 1. First order reaction means n value is 1. Then we can write this equation like this. Now, this equation I can write line minus d C A by C A equal to k into t. Am I right? So, <coughs> this is what this is equal to l n d l n C A this is equal to k into t. So, this is this is this is minus. So, we can do the integration C A to 0 to C A. So, we can write this is l n C A by C A 0 minus equal to k into t. So, I can write t equal to because what you I can write the t equal to will be what? Not I, I can sorry I can write C A equal to this is uh, uh, e to the power minus k, k, k 1 t. So, I can write C A 0 e to the power minus k 1 t. So, we can easily at any time any point of time if you want to find out the concentration of A that you can find out this uh, uh, this uh, correlation. So, this is this is like this. So, so this uh, correlation we have what I have shown you. This you can you can solve it very easily. The again this uh, conversion I can I can express in other term also with respect to x a is the fraction of a that is converted. This is x a. X a is expressed as one minus c a by c a zero. The that means c a by c zero is the fraction that remains after time t. So, 1 minus means fraction that is converted. So, with that respect I if we convert the same equation we can convert it like this. How we can convert my suppose d c a by d t I have written what k into c a am I right. So, um, what is the c a here, here we have seen that k equal to c a 0 initial concentration of substrate 1 minus x a and what is that now if you here if you do that so d c a then what will be this is 0. So, I can write c a 0 is constant. So, this is equal to d x a. Now, here if you put this value here d x a the c a 0 c a 0 will cancel we will get this equation. So, this is the, this is the final equation we will get in this form. Now, if you if you plot the l n uh, l n uh, this 1 minus x a of uh, versus t we will get straight line plot and slope will give you the value of k slope will give you the value of k. So, we can easily by in case of first order reaction we can we can find out that k value of the of the of the chemical reactions. Now, uh, now question comes uh, what will happen when uh, we have the fractional uh, this uh, the, the when we have the nth order reaction we we talk about the the first order reaction. Now, nth order reaction we have uh, the expression like this and this we can write in this form this is uh, where n is not equal to 1. This uh, we can have this ex expression, we can write differentiate, we can write this expression like this. Now, uh, this equation may be simplified in this form and finally, we can write this equation in this form. This is uh, this is the f is the fraction that is the f is defined as the C a by C a 0 fraction of reactant converted at time t f. Now, in case of uh, f if we if we substitute f by t half what is t half is the half life of a chemical reaction. Half life of a chemical reaction how we define that where the half of the substrate that is converted in into product 
and that time if you put in this equation we will get this uh, particular uh, equation. Now, this is very interesting because um, if you look at look at this that you know when when order of reaction n equal to 1 now if you come back here if you are n equal to 1 this will be uh, be, uh, this will be 0 am I right uh, this is this will be 0 n equal to 1 this uh, this uh, C A will be 0 and if C A to the power 0 is there then T half is independent of C A am I right. So, here L n A C A 0 it will be constant like this. Now, in case this is uh, this is more than 1 then it will be negative. Uh, more than 1 negative then it will be in uh, the inversely proportional with this t half and uh, in case of positive it will be i told you if n is uh, n is uh, positive then uh, uh, now here if uh, if n is less than 1 in case of n is less than 1 then what will happen this will be positive then d half t half is directly proportional to the t half what i can write that uh, here t half will be directly proportional to ca so as the as the t half changes then with uh, with ca value then this also will changes like this so, this is I, what I want to point out, this is a very uh, very good relationship that we have. Then we have other type of reaction, we have side the parallel reaction that can be expressed like this, this is key one minus the dCA by dt equal to rate of uh, this uh, conversion of R and rate of conversion of S that can be we, we, that can be expressed like this, we can uh, take common CA, we can write this. Now, in case of autocatalytic reaction, uh, you see that uh, that uh, what is autocatalytic reaction, where the uh, product acts as a catalyst, where product acts as a catalyst, and it is an example of the our our microbial system. In the in the microbial system, when we get the product, the microorganism itself again uh, it produces more product. So it is kind of autocatalytic reaction. Now, here how we express that, this can be expressed like this, you see that R A equal to K into C A plus C R because it is proportional to like this. The, what is C 0, C 0 if we assume the concentration of A plus concentration of R, so we can we can write this is C A 0 plus C A 0 and C R 0 that should be equal to constant. So, this expression we can we can write in this form final expression this is uh, this is this is equal to C r C r equal to C 0 minus C a. So, by rate of substrate conversion we can express like this. So, uh, in conclusion of what I want to tell that uh, that in the reaction kinetics uh, what we uh, basically deal with that uh, I told you that uh, whatever reactions we have it broadly it can be classified into two ways one is called uh, that homogeneous reaction another we call heterogeneous reaction. Now, homogeneous reaction where the reaction takes place in one particular phase we have three phase we have gas phase we have liquid phase we have solid phase. Now, mostly the reaction take place either gas phase or the liquid phase in a homogeneous reaction, but heterogeneous reaction where the re reaction takes place more than one phases. Then ma major limitation of this process is that one phase should come in contact with the other phase then and only then reaction take place. So, this is the limitation of the, uh, so diffusion is a very important uh, aspects of, uh, of this heterogeneous phase. So, diffusion reaction both simultaneously reaction. When where the rate of diffusion is less, then then uh, as compared to reaction, then diffusion is the controlling factor. When rate of diffusion is more as compared to rate of reaction, then uh, the rate of reaction is the controlling factor. Then question comes that we uh, uh, how we can write the expression of the uh, chemical reaction that we come across two different constant rate constant k and order of reaction. We discuss 
how it can be determined. Then uh, but different types of uh, this uh, irreversible reactions we have, we have side reaction, we have uh, autocatalytic reaction, how mathematical expression can be done, how you can determine different rate constant, uh, k, k value uh, both uh, in case of uh, uh, first order reaction and nth order reaction, I try to explain. Thank you very much.